not tall, I don't. You say it to me like that. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I don't love you anymore. When did you stop? Tonight. When the wonderful thing failed to happen. I suddenly realized that you weren't in any way the man I thought you were. What thing? The thing I've been waiting for all these years. The miracle. Every day, every long, frightened day, I thought to myself, tomorrow it will happen. Tomorrow the sky will fall. Croaks that will expose me and the truth will come out. And when it does, when it all comes crashing down on me, Torvo will step forward and say, my wife is innocent. I'm the guilty. You wanted me to take your blame. I never would have allowed you to. I would have killed myself to prevent you. I only expected you to offer. But you didn't. And when you'd got over your fright, oh, not for me, for yourself, when the threat had vanished, you wanted to behave as though nothing whatever had happened. And I was, I was your little squirrel again, your, your doll, even more fragile now. Even more to be watched and sheltered. At that moment, I, I suddenly realized that for eight years I've been living with a stranger. I don't know you. And when I think that I've borne you three children, I could tear myself to pieces. Nora. At least wait until morning. I can't believe this is happening. Will you never think of me? I'm sure I'll think of you often. Of you and the children and the help. You have right here. No, please. Well, at least nothing. Me. I can't accept anything from strangers. Nora, can I ever be anything to you but a stranger? The most wonderful thing of all would have to happen. We should both have to change so much. That I don't believe in miracles anymore. And let me believe. We would both have to change so much. That our life together might be a real marriage. Goodbye. Nora. I have already do our discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And then watch out. Wow. So yeah. Big doll's house. <laughs>
So what was the point in the dollhouse? Of the title, you mean? Yeah. Sorry, go for it. Well, it's like she lived in a dollhouse. Her father did it to her when she was young, growing up, and then, you know, she gets in, she marries him, and he controls everything she does, financially, everything like that. Well, I mean, she's just trying to find herself. I don't think she's, since she's been with her dad forever, she, has, she actually hasn't found her comfort herself, and then she just went next into a marriage or whatever. She's just trying to please everyone. And I, think that's, I don't think she's a bad person. That cool. <laughs> He's a careless bastard because when in their time of like troubles, like he hated her, but then like when tide turned, he loved her yeah. and was like, okay. "I love you forever." Yeah. So he's a bastard. I think she was like a better person. Yeah, because she's trying to please him and make him happy. If you're gonna fault her, fault her for staying that long. But was she really? Was she really trying to please him though? I mean, seriously, was she really trying to please him? I mean, she did save his life. She steals his, she steals his money. She's just a big spender because according yeah. to Miss Lind or whatever, she told her maybe in high school or whatever, she was a big spender. Even though she was a her dad, she spent a lot of money, so she's just used to money, I guess. She's kind of like, you know, his money. She doesn't know she's wasting it like that. She's just used to it. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she did work. Oh yeah, she, you know, she did work. She was good with money. I don't know. 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 Like slaves. Yeah, well, like, like child slaves, you know, full child labor laws, double sure. revolution, and blah, blah, blah. It was kind of selfish of her to leave the kids, though. You know, it was, it was kind of selfish. She, didn't, she just thought about herself, not like the kids. Okay. Well, we don't know what happened to the kids, though. She could have taken them with her. I mean, stop moving that camera! <laughs> You're coming me on my fucking mind! <laughs> I know, but if it's on the TV, like, if, you're on, if that camera's up, don't move it. <laughs> I'm like sitting here like mm -hmm. getting dizzy. <laughs> 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 that was fun. Sorry. <laughs> no, we're not done. Oh. Yeah, just done. So I can get 45 minutes at least. Yeah, well. Stop zooming on me. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, f whatever. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Um, you know. I, I don't know what else to say, man. That's okay, the play. Enjoyed I mean. it? No, we enjoyed it. I know we beat the hell out of the sock <laughs> puppets. <laughs> yeah, we killed the sock puppets. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's A plus. A plus. A plus. A plus. That was the worst day ever. Yeah, we probably failed. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's it. Okay, should we redo that?